And then we've got this story here, which I don't even know what exactly this is. So last night on Raw, there was a segment with Alexa Bliss and Charlotte. And it admittedly, I largely hated it. I didn't actually hate all of it because what I what I hate about the Alexa Bliss character is the voodoo and the magic and the mumbo jumbo and the fact that she's dressing like she's 12 and playing with a doll. I'm a fan of Alexa Bliss. I like when Alexa Bliss was Alexa Bliss and she used to wrestle, which interestingly enough, that was the whole point of the interview. Charlotte's out there going, man, I sure do miss when you were a competitor because she can't say wrestler i sure miss when you were a competitor and then you know they do this whole thing and i'm and then at the end they get in a fight and i'm like that's cool there's a fight but then alexa gives her a ddt and then she sits down cross-legged and pouts and hugs her doll and i'm like i hate this but anyway the point is the point is dave last night on the observer radio show said that during that interview segment 1,500 people walked out. Well, if you've gone to social media today, which admittedly I have not, but I can tell you this, Alexa was upset about this report. And here's here's what I can tell you, okay? Forget a fan or Dave or just some random bloke in the building. Last night during the show... Shortly after the Alexa Bliss Charlotte segment, somebody in WWE, in the building, not some random fan, this is someone who works for the company and was in the building, they texted all of us, actually, and they said that 700 people had walked out. 700, okay? So then last night on Observer Radio, Dave said 1,500. Well, today, that same person questioned the 1500 but reiterated and this is a quote that they would stand by the number of 700 so now we're splitting hairs whatever i think that this is this is from someone there that was in the building not watching at home in the building it is abundantly clear that hundreds of people walked out was it 700 was it 900 was it 564? Was it 1,500? Bro, I don't know. I wasn't there, okay? But I know that she's mad. I'd probably be mad, too, if I did some segment and people walked out. But, I mean, it is. it appears to be a factual statement that a number of people walked out during that segment. I don't know what the real number was. I wasn't there. But there were people that walked out during that segment. Is it the end of the world? No. You know what else I hear from that same person? That they sold a lot of merch, which would probably mean dolls and shirts and whatever. So, I mean, Alexa's going to get her merch paycheck, and hopefully that'll make her feel better. But there's there's good and bad with this story. So that's what I can tell you about what happened last night during that segment. I, uh... The answer is my question on, did they not come back? Did they all go to the bathroom? Did they go to the merch stands? What exactly did they do in this time? Well, the impression I got was that they left. Well, here's here's my question. Why that segment as opposed to any other portions of the show? Was it just, was is this so unusual that that much of a percentage of people would get up and move out during a particular segment? Because there have been a lot of bad long segments on Raw that I wouldn't be paying much attention to. I was wondering why, why is this one being pointed out by chance? I, I, that's, well, that I would mean, be my it, only question hey, as listen, to why. I why don't, this one? I don't normally get people there texting me that X number of people walked out of the building. So that would suggest to me that this is a rare <laughs> occurrence and that it was notable enough that they felt enough to send me a text message about it. Okay? Now, I mean, listen... I don't want to. I don't want to make this come across as a burial of Roman Reigns, okay? Because Roman Reigns is a huge star, and Roman Reigns is a draw. But whether it's Roman Reigns or Hulk Hogan or The Rock or Steve Austin or who, the, the biggest stars of all time, we saw during the Monday Night Wars and 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 uh, in into the future as well. When when a big star comes out early in the show. And then there is another segment with them later in the show. 
The later segment always does worse, okay? Because fans like to see their favorite wrestlers on Monday night or whatever. But once they've seen them, there is a portion of the audience that they've seen them for this week, and now they're going to go watch football, okay? And it could have been the same thing with this live crowd. This live crowd showed up to watch Raw. They saw a 13-minute Roman Reigns match in the main event. It's now past 10. They're watching a segment with two grown women and dolls. The main event is Roman, who they've already seen, and they're like, I'm just going to beat traffic and go home. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Elver is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. I can't believe that I'm actually somewhat defending WWE from people walking out on their show on a segment involving a storyline that I hate, but I am. Swords and Year goes, I don't understand this walking out to beat traffic. Although he does note, I'm going to do the same thing next week when I go to AEW. Listen, everyone. Raw is on a Monday night, okay? It's on a weeknight, all right? You got work the next day, presumably. You maybe brought your kids... And you're not just watching. The Raw show is three hours long, and they taped an hour before the show, okay? So at 10 o'clock p.m. during this Alexa segment, fans had already been there for three hours. They'd already seen Roman. They'd already seen Big E. They'd already seen Lashley. They know that there's not going to be a main event featuring stars that they haven't seen yet. It's guys they've already seen on the show. They've been there for three hours. They've bought their stuff. And if you leave with everyone else at 11, you ain't getting home anytime soon. You're going to be stuck in that parking garage. So they left 45 minutes early, and they beat the traffic. They saw everybody they wanted to see. It was 700 people out of a sold-out building. The place ain't going out of business. Like, it's a story, but it's not the end of the world. I can understand why somebody would do that based on circumstances. I wouldn't have walked out because of the promo. Some people may have, but I mean, if it was a promo, I was like, listen, if I'm going to leave, now's the time. I left. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.